Okay guys, so many of you know that if you've had um, a Mark III RS, Focus RS, uh, and you've had these, some of you, like myself, have complained that the rear passenger light stops working. And that would be this long line here. That's like when the lights are on, when the uh, daylight running lights. So it's time, I've had three sets of these, and I think it's time to open it up and uh, see what goes wrong with them. So uh, yeah, there's no easy way of getting into this. It's basically using a Dremel. I've marked a line where I want to cut and um, fingers crossed. So uh, let's get on with it. So I've cut that out, so I now have an opening. So I've got to feed these wires through to get this plate off, then I can start testing um, all the resistors and making sure all the contacts are okay. So um, that's the next step. Right, so just to go over what was wrong with the one that's on the car, um, that's working great. Um, this is another set I had, like I say, I've had a couple of sets of these now. Um, 
this one I still haven't worked out what's wrong but I cut it open and um, you, as you can see on the lines there cut it open because there's no way to take this off without um, ruining the light basically so uh, yeah so I cut it off I've done some research I took all the boards off now people will say to me oh this is from Germany so you know with it being German made it must be great it's not it's absolutely rubbish the um, the circuit boards are rubbish the soldering's rubbish and what was wrong with the one that I'm using now and I'll demonstrate on this one because uh, that one is now sealed is on here the solder on these two so the positive and the negative was soldered together now I don't know if that's happened over time whether it's got hot from breaking and and whatever have you but they fused together um, and there was another one as well above it um, I haven't cut this one properly so you can't get to it it's just under here um, that was fused together as well so um, basically it was causing a um, it's like wiring your uh, your car battery your positive and your negative together not good and um, it's it's gonna hurt your car over time so if you've come across this um, and your lights not working I recommend swapping out to your red lights if you still got them your standard lights or buying a new set because it will ruin your car I was all right because luckily I noticed it and got rid of it um, I've done extensive testing on this light with a multimeter and I just can't figure out what's wrong with this one but the one I have on the car now is working great it's been five months so what was that yeah September so five months and no problems no code coming up on the car and it's still working great so as you can see the light working great there this one is uh, all sealed on the back with silicon so because you don't want any water or moisture getting in because it's just gonna you know cause your problems um, yeah, so so far so good. That was my problem. As I say, these if I can zoom in. So the positive and the, the minus terminal were um, fused together and up the top there. So I think what that means is like that whole light um, just didn't work because it, you know the, the terminals were soldered together so what I had to do is just re-solder and reflow the solder that seemed to work so putting this back together isn't a problem you tidy up what you've cut basically I cut that with a dremel and um, yeah run a bead of silicon and smoothed it out around the edge to stop any moisture getting back in and uh, that solved my problems and uh, as you can see the light is working absolutely fantastic fingers crossed it still works I don't see why it wouldn't um, plugged everything in but now I've got an access port if I ever need to get to it again but to be honest yeah these um, these lights are not made to be worked on so it's a shame but uh, you know what is made to be worked on nowadays they don't make them like they used to I sound like an old git now, don't I? <laughs> right, so bear with me, I'll let that dry and um, we'll, uh, we'll whack it on the car. Fingers crossed it will work, so I'll get back to you. So, as you can see, the silicon's on. 
Don't look too bad at all. Well there you go guys, it's all working, back in and uh, loving it, I'm so pleased that I've got these lights back on because they really make a difference to the car, those red ones just, they don't cut it for me, the black ones or the smoked ones or whatever they are, um, really do make a difference, uh, they're not the, um, what do you call them, the indicators they just flash they don't chase or nothing like that but you know what <laughs> don't care um, never liked them anyway because they flash in they go uh, free LEDs free LEDs free LEDs and to me I, I'd like a sweeping one rather but hey ho it cost me about five pounds to fix um, I reflowed the solder because they were touching like I say I don't know how it ever worked in the first place I don't know whether it got hot and uh, the solder touched or, or what I really don't know but um, that was what was wrong with them but you can't take them apart because they're all sealed so I managed to earlier on like you see in the uh, in the video cut an excess panel and that's all it needed really but the um, it is very cheaply made and I don't care what anyone says yes they come from Germany they cost a lot of money but the uh, the circuit boards in them are really cheap so um, again, all those pictures will be put up. You've probably seen them already, but um, I'm happy with the result. And uh, yeah, it's gonna be it for that one, guys. Um, share the video because I know a lot of people are having problems with these lights. So um, hey, my fix might not be your fix or someone else's fix, but it's worth looking at. So um, you know, you know what to do. Click the subscribe button if you haven't already smash the thumbs up button because it really helps me out. Sorry I'm not that energetic, I'm in hella pain. I'm finished now, ready to go in, another job done. And uh, you know what, I can't be out here, so I'm gonna get rendering this video right now up there. And uh, yeah, just let everyone know because um, there is a solution. For all the people that say, oh I've had, I've had my lights for three, four years, never gone wrong. Good luck to you, um, please for you. Um, like I said, I've had three sets and like, uh, the 
have all gone wrong. So, um, yeah, <laughs> well, happy. So, that's how you fix the LEDs, or in my case, anyway. So, um, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. And as always, see you in the next one. Remember. <laughs>